of the light. He came to talk about the light, right? Now, when John was no more and Jesus was being asked to give a testimony about John, can the feedback in this place disappear? Jesus said, yet I do not receive testimony from man. But I say this thing that you may be saved. 35. Listen, he was a burning and a shining lamp. And you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. Read it again. He was what? May this be, may this be the testimony about you. He was what? Burning and a shining lamp, willing and with lamp, and you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. Read again. He was what? And a what? And you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. Now let's go back to the teaching. Now, if you look at the Bible very well, the Bible said, Let your light. Still, I'm dealing with systems and covering. Let your light so shine. Now, most often when we become born again, we are expecting God to let us shine. But actually, God can't let you shine. He can give you the light. And how do you get the light? David said, your word is the light. The word is a lamp unto my feet. So, whenever God's word comes to you, the word of God that comes to you comes to fuel and comes to add light to your life. Please, are you, are you understanding me? So when God's word says, like, like last I was teaching you, that good understanding brings favor, and you begin to walk in good understanding, you begin to exhibit light in understanding. Now, but Jesus didn't say that, I will let your light shine. He said, you, let your light shine. In other words, you permit that understanding, you permit that light to shine. Then he goes on and says, so. So, so means that to what extent will you permit light? So that man may see, you can decide to, you know that some people, when it comes to fooling in the world, they permit their light of fooling to go to all extent. When people were in the world, when it came to sin, they sinned so well that the world gave them a name for sinning. I had my name when I was an unbeliever. And we were so much expert in it that everybody who needed help could easily be able to locate us. You go to somebody and say, I want to do this. They say, oh, go and talk to Yale. Oh, you want to do this? We have made our evil darkness to even look like a light that some people naturally gravitated towards us. Then we become believers, become born again. And then what we do is that we limit our light and we say that it is my light. It is my revelation. It is my understanding. I choose to allow it or not to allow it. Am I teaching something here? Oh, please, I, I, I hear you are not here at all. Now, it's like if I ask you one plus one, you say 14. And I ask you, you say, I know, but I don't want to tell you. No problem. But that's when you have failed your exams. <laughs> because your light is not supposed to shine for yourself. The light is supposed to shine so that it will attract a certain kind of people. So let me give an example. I, um, um, you are invited to a dinner with great men, right? And you have to eat with them. And they are all using you fork and knife. And you say, they made them here crossing you. Then you just lift up your hands and then you put it. It's like, nom, nom, nom. Yes, you have allowed your crassy light to shine before them. Now, as to if they will invite you again to come and embarrass them, it's another story. Oh, please, are you here with me? You are not with me. Oh, I, 
They ask you, they tell you that, oh, they, by the grace of God, somebody is going for a very important meeting with some big people. So follow me. When they get there, then they ask you a question. What, how is the economy going in your country? Me, I don't know. I don't follow these kind of foolish things. And these are well economy. And you say you don't have a job. These are the people that can easily give you a job. They ask you a question. Now, maybe they were, if they had not asked you a question and you were quiet in school, but the person asks you a question. Now, this is the time to show whether you are foolish or you are wise. And you say, me, I intentionally told them I don't know anything because I don't want them to look at me and tell me I'm a fool. So me, I kept everything to myself. Bravo. No wonder you are so unemployed because that opportunity was an opportunity for you to show your light. I, I've been to certain meetings and I, I said certain things and we just closed the meeting. Only for days later, I was called that man of God. Lash was saying this. Can you expand it further? I said, this kind of things, I can't do it on phone. Can you put gather so that I can be there? That's where the offering comes from. Then when I get there, I add more value to what I'm going to say because I can't share the light on the phone. Oh, please, I don't know if you agree with me here. Light, light, the, if your light is limited, distance can overshadow it. So sometimes light must be closer enough for it to become effective to the world. Can I hear someone say amen? You are not here at all. So, so many Christians don't operate in light and light is understanding. And so for you to get a certain level of understanding, it comes from somebody speaking to you. Look, anything you don't know, somebody knows. Now, let me tell you, this. it doesn't matter how much grace you have. Listen to me carefully. Here. If somebody is somewhere that you have not arrived, put what you know somewhere for the now and pick up what the person knows because it is most like what the person knows will be your foundation before what you know. Can are you here or not? So let's give an example that you are going to play football and you know how to dribble the whole pack and when they bring you in the court, tells you when you get the ball, Pass. I want to see your passing skills. You get on the field and you start dribbling. You dribble the whole pack. And the coach said, go home. But I played very well. Yeah. Everybody said I played very well. Yes, everybody said. But those, everybody, they don't give a job. Those called everybody, they don't, they don't employ. The instruction of the coach is what gives a job. So, if they had picked you into the team, then from there, you cannot exhibit skills. Then they can say, okay, aside what we ask him to do, he has more ability to do more. Oh, please, I hear you are not here at all. So, the Bible said, the word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. And I'm saying that words from God, words from leaders, words from people can either guide you or misguide you. That's why I'm very careful who I listen to. I have this thing that whoever has your head has your life. What did I say? Forget your heart. The entrance to the heart is your head. Whoever draws your eyes' attention, your ears' attention, your nose' attention, and allows you to speak influences your heart. Those access codes are very important. Yes, you must guard your heart by guarding your heart. You guard your heart by guarding what your eyes and your ears. Oh, please, are you, am, am I talking to somebody here? Has, gives access to receiving. Give the Lord a mighty clap offering. Can I have a message for this again? Look at something. The word of God. It's a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. So, John the Baptist, let's read the version, this version, read. But my, oh, good. Your word is a lamp. Okay, I said message. I want message. So, John the Baptist came and John the Baptist said, I came to be a witness of 
light. Let's not forget, I've been teaching that the Gentiles will come to your light and kings will come to your what? Your rising. The Gentiles will come to your and kings will come to your so Gentiles or strangers are attracted to that light but how far you allow that light to shine will determine how great people get attracted to you. He said, your words I can see where by your words, notice, I can see where I am going. They throw a beam of light up and what, upon my dark part. So, if I am Satan, one of the things I will do to you is to prevent you from associating with everybody or anybody whose words can direct your life. Simply put. I repeat it. If I'm the devil, all I will do to you is that anybody whose words, whose counsel, can take you to your next level, I will prevent you from either hearing or hear and not do, or please, are you here with me, or just be there and not hacking. So when John the Baptist came back on John the Baptist, he said he was a witness of the light, and Jesus said, I also came to testify about the light. Now, why would John the Baptist be in the forest? Please, are you here with me? And the young and the great will go to John the Baptist and hear him teach. Even Jesus himself went to the valley where John the Baptist is located to be baptized. Are you here with me? He was shining to the extent that he, Herod heard about him. Kings heard about him. And then Jesus, who was a testimony of the light, is baptized and Jesus moves to the city to start preaching, not without constraint because when he went to Nazareth, they fought him. He moved to Galilee and John says that, okay, I am also, know this word, I am also moving from the valley and I am going to the city. Now listen to this. When he gets to the city, he is preaching the same thing he was preaching in the valley, in the, in the village, at the city. Saying that, Herod, you are taking somebody's wife. It is not good. Don't do that. And the next moment, he's arrested. Because, listen to me carefully. Because when you get into a level of light, which we call revelation, you know that it is not everything that is said at everywhere. Galatians chapter 2. Galatians chapter 2. Is there Galatians chapter 2? So let's read about Paul. He said, Thereafter, 14 years, I went up to Jerusalem. Again, I went up again to Jerusalem where the Barnabas also took titles with me. Now read on, verse 2. And I went up. I went up. I went up. I went up by what? Revelation. Now, what is That's why people do masters. And people do PhD in the same subject. Because the fact that you got a degree doesn't mean your pay or your salary is going to go higher. You need to upgrade on the degree to master's. And after master's, you need to upgrade to a degree of PhD. You go to philosopher, um, friend say, professor, then you move to emeritus. Now, in each level, you go and sit down and you read books, number one. And people speak to you. Professors will come and tell you, this is how it is done. You read all kinds of books. It's all about well spoken and what you hear. So, I want to tell you emphatically, your graduation in life or your demotion in life is dependent on what you are hearing and what you are reading. You don't, you don't understand me. Your upgrade or demotion is based on what you are hearing or reading. Don't ask anybody who moved from CSSS or whatever to university. They read, they heard. They read to, from degree to master's, you read and what? You hear. Is it true or is it not true? You must keep reading and hearing to be agreed. So Paul said, I went up by what? Revelation. And communicated 
to them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles. Listen, by privately to those who were of reputation, lest by enemies I might run or run in vain. So Paul said, even though I preach the same gospel, when it came to the kings or people of reputation, I did not preach to them publicly. I preached to them privately. So John the Baptist could have gone to Herod and told Herod, Herod, the thing you are doing is not good. But for John the Baptist to stand in the city and say what he said in public, he has broken spiritual protocol. You didn't get me. And he, it, it warranted his head to be cut. Paul said, How, which revelation did Paul preach? It was revelation. Now. Paul said, I went up by revelation. Then he explained that I preached privately. To what people of reputation and the Gentiles may kind of try higher. Jesus did the same thing when he was alive. When he was preaching in public, he preached in parables. But when he met the disciples in private, then he expanded the parable. Oh, please, you are not here at all. It that's the same information, but how do you distribute the information? It takes revelation. Am I teaching somebody at all? So let me give you an example. If you go to an office where the one who employed you is a JSS student, by the grace of God, he is the owner of the company. He has money. By you, you have masters. If you are not careful, you won't last long because of your true know of masters. Because he will tell you that if you think your master can do this, go and open a business. You first of all have to behave as if you are at this level. Until the person can trust you enough and tell you that, can you tell me what to do in this situation? You don't get up and go and tell the one who has. <laughs> I think I'm not teaching well here. Then you bring your two no and your, you know, and the psychology of the um, whatever. And you know, this one you are doing. This thing you say he's doing that is wrong. That's what he has done. He has employed and he's paying you 2,000 Ghana. Which your certificate can afford you. When you meet your colleagues, you can apply that certificate there. But at this level, you need to humble yourself and walk in the, in the level that has lifted this person to a level that is employing you. Then when he sees your value, then you can now ask you, what do you expect us to do next? There, you can now open up and bring that revelation that you have to expand the business. I think I'm not preaching here. So, this will take us to John 15, verse number, then I'll tell a story there, then we can close. Verse number 31. Everything can be yours. Jesus, um, Jesus said it and John 15, 31. Everything can be yours. First Corinthians, I think, chapter, chapter 2, chapter 4, said, all things are mine. Say, all things are mine. The most useless people on earth, forgive me, are the people who have access to everything. I said, John, um, Luke 15. You know, people who have access to everything, they are multi-talented. They always fail. But those who know that in their world, all they know is one thing. They just focus on it. Some people, if you ask them, they tell you that maybe some are born in the minimum football. Praise the Lord. So if they don't joke with what football. Some people, to the, some women, to all they know is that they are beautiful. So as for them, they, all they follow is their beauty. Please, I'm not talking to somebody here. By you, you are beautiful. You are intelligent. You are smart. You are this. So that thing has. Oh, please, are you here with you? <laughs> Now he said to him, son, you are always with me and all that I have is yours. No, read it again. Son, read. Read. Everybody read. Go. And he said to him, son, you are always with me and all that I have is yours. Say it again. Read it again. Now what 
does this scripture mean? Let's move into ordinary English. It simply means that as long as you are with your father, everything your father owns is yours. It also says as long as you disengage from your father, most of the things that are yours are not yours. Read it again. Oh, you are always and all things are what? So now, in talking deeper into systems and covering, one of the things that can move you away from what is yours is when the devil moves you away from the one you call a father or a mentor or somebody who speaks into your life. Now, you know, the problem with every believer is that people come to church, people come to places, and all they want, even great job, and all they want is the money. They didn't come to add to the business. <laughs> they didn't come to add to the church. They came because they need money. So even at the interview, I said, why are you, why are you I don't have a place to stay. <laughs> why, why do you want a job? I don't have any place to I didn't get food to eat. Such people, they don't get the job. Because you know that if they get, oh, you are not here at all. Oh, am I teaching something here? If they get what they want, they leave. And many people are like that. They only hang around because of what they will get. So in this story, which we normally call the prodigal son, Jesus was talking in parables and he said, a man had two sons and everything, know the word, as long as you are with me, all that I have is yours. So the guy came to his father and said, I've served you. I'm your father. I can't wait for you to die. So I think I've learned enough. So give me what is mine. Was it wrong? No, if it was wrong, the father would have rebuked him. Because as long as you are with the father, all that the father has is yours. Now, he got what he needed. And the Bible said, he went to a far country. Break away one. Far country. Disconnecting from your source. The guy assumed that training is over. I know enough. Please, if you are on the PC, you can be following me as I go. John, I'll be, I'll be in Luke 15 till I end. So I'm going far away. Why was he going far away? The motive for going far away is so that nobody will speak to him. No, the there was nothing wrong with what he has, but he doesn't. I don't want it's like Ghana. We are we are very Africa, we are a very funny country. Well, we want independence, you are still begging. So not what they do is that they want to break the link, but they want to still pick a phone once a while and say, I'm checking on you to find out how to are doing. So I'm fine saying, eh, I just wanted to find out when you get to this place, what do you do? The real motive for checking on you. It's not to check on you. The motive for checking on you is to solve a problem. Which if they were by you, they could have easily solved. Oh, oh, oh. oh please, are, are you getting me? Now, the, what, now, if you make, if you are giving your capital, what prevents you from going next door? Being around, finding out, oh, old man, how are you? I just came to check on your life. Hope everything is okay. This is my tithe. This is my offering. Um, um, these days, um, I'm going through this. No, 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 no. He just carried everything. And then, what you like? Mm -hmm. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. And one of the most difficult things in life is to have what we call independent mind. What did we call it? What did I say? I don't want anybody to tell me anything about anything. I meet what I know. Look, I'm not boasting. I, I'm at my level. I'm very high. I speak to people at top. Still, I have people low, low, low who speak to me. Even my daughter has spoken to me before. I was driving and Rachel told me, Daddy, hold on. Don't, don't move. And I thank God I listened. Because it was green. But the little girl said, hold on. And I held on. A car came to him. My eye could not see. You, you know so much that you can't listen to anybody. Let me tell you this. One of the signs you look at people who, who will not listen to anybody 
anybody who can go down to carry a child is too no. There are, there are simple things. You know, you know something about babies? Babies, when you carry them, they will wee-wee on you. They will vomit on you. They will, they will damage you and you can't beat them. So to avoid all that embarrassment, so Jesus says something. If you cannot be like a little child, you cannot inherit the kingdom. Oh, you, you, are not, you are not getting me here. Oh, if you can't make your dress that you are more interested in the dress, how you look. People are, people are bothered about me, 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 me. So I don't take the baby for the baby to mess me up to the extent that some people don't even give birth. So that babies will mess their stomach up. So their, their breasts will still stand. Because you can't reproduce without going through damages. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me. You, you cannot reproduce yourself. Now, I'm trying to raise a team. I'm trying to build a people through God. And I'm going through all kinds of struggle. Because it's all part of the reproductive area. Raising up people, you have to go through damages to go to raise up people. If you don't want the damage, then you cannot become better than this. Uh, if, uh, if you are not on a certain level, what I'm saying, you don't understand. It should look like I'm preaching concert. He took a journey. It's not like today that when you take the journey, you can call, watch on YouTube, watch on Facebook, or still connect. And <laughs> he, he went too far away. I see people who sometimes, let's say they are working for church and their, their rent is due. And the next woman, they went to stay in Tema. And I know that they, are, they want to be off the church. If you really want to work, you will look for a place close by. I, I, I want to be so far away. I don't want anybody to get close to me. Yeah, it is a way of gradually pulling away from instructions. Oh, I don't want church members to visit me. Wow. Church members come to check your life. You can pretend in church. Are you here with me? But you can never continue to pretend at home. If you want to know a true Christian, go to their house. And ask their neighbors. They will tell you that if you go to somebody's house and say, please, I'm looking for minister. Or go to the office, I'm looking for shepherd. Wait, shepherd, what? Is he a shepherd? Please come again. I'm looking for Reverend Dr. F. D. Yale. Wait, is he a Reverend Doctor? Then the person, Reverend Doctor, they are looking for you. And the whole office is like, Who? The one who knows gets up. <laughs> and when you are talking, it was. And when you come back, they begin to come. Hey, master, are you a reverend? <laughs> so, you know what? Anybody who can carry who they are to where they are going, they have something to hide. I, I go to the States. I told this story before. Book a room, a hotel. I'm sleeping in there. And I said, my name is Reverend Francis Yale. And they look at me. They are shocked. And then when I was going there, like, God bless you. You are the first person here who came with your real name. When they, you bring the name, they search on Google to find out who you are. Because they are afraid of beggary and all those things. And they knew. And you are the first who never brought a lady up. You know, most often, if you hide the Reverend, it means anybody can come in. Or are, you, are you with me? But the truth is sometimes the title prevents you from doing what your flesh wants to do. <laughs> or is it true or is it not true? Even 
Even with the ring on people's hand, there's trouble. How much more if there is no ring? I think I'm not preaching. Even with the ring. The fantasy will tell you, take the ring and take the man. Please, I'm not talking to somebody here. <laughs> he went far away. Let me tell you this. Any covering that is distance is endangered. Let me give you an example. It's like having this your Android phones or your tablet and you don't keep updating. You are going to be hit with a bug very soon. I hear there is iOS 16, right? Some of you are still at 13. You don't even know what I'm talking about, even though you have an iOS phone. You don't even know what. When they said, prodigal son, no, so when they preach it, I matter that. I know this story. This story, ah, Luke 15. I've read it several times. Yeah, you, but what I'm saying, you've not heard it. But you know, because your brain will tell you you've heard it before, everything I'm saying is junk. Am I talking to somebody here at all? Or am I, am I teaching here? He journeyed to far. And let me tell you this. One of the first things the devil will do is to move you far. Don't, don't take me there. When Pharaoh, Moses went to Pharaoh and told Pharaoh that let my people go so that they may serve him. God, Moses, that um, Pharaoh said, they can go, but they should not go far away. They should just go to the next town and do the sacrifice. So that if I want them, I can easily have access to them. And Moses said, no. We are going and we will never return. So you see, Moses intentionally left, crossed the sea. And after a while, when Pharaoh's senses came back, he said, we can't allow these people to go like that. Let us chase them. Because they still wanted jurisdiction over them. They still wanted power, but going far away is just to cut off completely from your covering. Oh, amen. Let me tell you this. I'm a man of God. Um, I've been in ministry. This, this 14th was how many years of being ordained? 20, I think. 21 years of being ordained. Some people think they know me. But I also upgrade. So if first my best food was yam, you don't know whether I've changed. You bring me yam, I'll tell you I've stopped eating yam. I had a visitor recently from um, Nigeria and we were talking and they were like, the last time he came, he said, I want pepper soup. And we did hot pepper soup. It's not easy. Pastor, if you taste the pepper, when it got to my tent to eat something, I have to pour water to mix it a bit and add tomatoes. You know Nigerian pepper soup? And they enjoyed it. Eh? 25 years. Uh -huh. It's 25. Me, <laughs> uh, 25 years of being ordained a reverend. And January 3rd will be 20 years of marriage. Now, what was I even saying before you came to 25? The pepper soup. This time when he came, he said, no pepper. Reduce salt. So if I assumed that the same man who came here two years ago is the same person today, I would have killed the person. The person has had a medical upgrade. <laughs> Many people assume, not, not the most funny thing about people, people who assume they know, they always err in life. Because in life, always pretend you don't know. And when you find out that you know, then you can add what you know to move on. Please, yeah. If somebody's even talking to you, 
okay. Pretend you don't know. They say, okay, now I get you. But sometimes you shut the people down when they are about to tell. Because let me give you, I was told by his aide that he says he doesn't like pepper soup, pepper. And he doesn't take salt. Then when I was bringing him to my office, I said, Bishop, can I ask a question? I said, if you were there, he and the wife were at the back of the chair. I said, we are going to prepare food for you. I heard you don't like salt and you don't like pepper. He said, who told you I don't like salt? Actually, what I don't like is cooking the food and adding salt to it. I'll stop that. But let a little salt be in the food. I pretended I didn't know and I asked, and when I got to the sauce, I got the right kind of ingredient for the food. Then I told his aide, you didn't hear well. He didn't say he doesn't take salt. So, oh, is that so? He said he doesn't add salt to an already cooked food. Because, see, when you, you add the salt and it's, it's not cooked, it, it doesn't melt well. The heat doesn't help it. I don't want to go into the chemistry of that chemist, chemistry. So he has stopped that. I would have gone to cook without salt. I would have done my best. But he would have said, mm, it's okay. But inside his heart, God bless you, will not be complete. Do you know they kill us? Oh. I think I'm not preaching. I said, Do you know what? I know him, I know him, I know him. I've been with him for years. You've been with the person for years, but you don't know what that person is going through. You don't know. <laughs> Am I teaching somebody here? Oh, there are so many women who like heal growing up, but at their age, if you touch them heal, they'll break it. They don't wear heal again. So it's all mean, you know. Now up a hill, pa, and to my mom caught a hill, man. Ah, ladies, it true. Now you don't like hill again. The days of hill are over. To usher hill, qua, what is Udish, Udish, or Bagmoa, Uqua, no washer, when you do one while wrong. Is it true? It's not true. May God help us. Never take proximity, closeness for granted. Always use that as an opportunity to upgrade. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? He journeyed to a far country. Why? Because I don't want Ghana. We are independent. We are always borrowing. We are not independent. We find ways and means. Going to IMF, always. We are not independent. You know what is independent? I don't need anybody. I don't need anything. Without you, I can make it. Let me tell you this. Never get to the place because let me tell you, there's someone that saying, I'm nothing without you. Without you. You are the moment of my being. Can live without you. Without you. You are the air that I breathe. Can live without you. Because you want daily connection. It was intentional so that you don't pray once and forget that I, will, I ask it is over. He said, Give us when it comes to provision, he said, Make it daily. So <laughs> many people come to God, give me, give me, they get what they want now. Say, God, bye bye. Oh, God, there is good, oh. Yeah, God is an end of service benefits. God is as gracia. Bye-bye. 
Now, when the relatives get tough, then they like God. Man, pa me watching kwa prefu. Pass me not a gentle savior. Yeah, my humble cry. Yeah, why now orders thou art calling? Do not pass. Now you remember you have a God. And they sing funny, I have a God who never fails. He's no more your God. You don't go to church, you don't pray, you don't fast, you don't commit yourself to the things of God. Now you are in Wahala. So, all of a sudden, now you know that you have a God. When he got the possession, if he still had a father, the father would tell him that, Master, be careful with your investment. Don't put it here. If I've done it this way, you will not have had inheritance. When me, my own was two cities, yours is one million dollars. You can do better than I can do. I made certain mistakes with the two cities. This is what I did. This is why I passed. This is how I moved. This is what I did. I, look, let me tell you this. Most marriages that don't do well is marriages that they go for counseling. And they think after counseling, they're over. They marry. And they don't go for counseling again. Actually, after two, three years of marriage, you must go back for counseling again. Because what you were taught at counseling never meant anything to you. That time you were in love. And love is blind. And marriage will open your eyes. I said marriage is what? Marriage is what opened the eyes. That's when you wake up and see that the breast that was always standing. It was just something that was holding it. I'm preaching. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And that's when you see that man urinate and it falls on the pot. Because the thing can't shoot again. So when they urinate, it always falls on the toilet bowl. When you are young, you stand there, fountain. When you grow older, except you hold it. Praise the Lord. See that always when the man goes to worship, the woman goes, and now lift it up, lift it up, clean with tissue, clean with tissue. And then the fault. Low battery. I said what? Low battery. This battery, you can't charge. If you charge, you get stroke. <laughs> Your amen. Your amen is not good at all. By the prophets, the Lord brought them out of Egypt. And by thy prophet, they were sustained. God will empower you. But let me tell you, the most dangerous thing to do is to be empowered and live a lonely life. Power is not enough. Oh. Ask all presidents in Ghana. Power is not enough without counsel. Without what counsel? You need the people who will speak in. Sometimes when people need things, the people who advise them, they get it. And when they get it, they feel they are better. They don't need their counsel again. Look at them. Are you here? You've gone home. What the person say? Oh, amen. Look at him. Say, are you still by the prophet or you've gone somewhere? So the guy went, what? Far away. Some say far away. I didn't hear you. Now, when he went far away and he wasted all the resources, I thought the first thing he would have done was to come home. No. He now felt that like my father did it with nothing, so me too, I can do it with nothing. Let me get a job. You were not trained getting the jobs. That kind of foundation, you didn't have it. Let me tell you, one of the things that shows you are going off from your covering is when your desire and your taste changes. I said, whoever has your head, 
The guy now desired. First, he employed people. Now he desired to be employed. Two, he used to give food. Do parties for people to come and eat. Now he desired to eat the food of pigs. The wastes was now his delicacy. Let me tell you this. You, you can come to a place where today preaching is too long. In your work, because you have a business meeting. When you don't have a place to sleep. When we closed church, you were angry because where am I going? I think you are not hearing me. Now you have a girlfriend waiting for you. So you can't wait for the God's word to be cut short. Your appetite has changed. I'm preaching now. Ah, now man of God, I will only come to church Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Can't we add Tuesday and Thursday? Because you don't have friends. You don't have anything. You always want to be in the house of the Lord. You are like David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within your gates. Oh, Joseph. Now, you, when they give him, call you, that it's time for church. I'm supposed to be Church is by force. Appetite has changed. You are the one that will come to pastor. He said, Pastor, I believe that prayer must increase in church. We need to pray more. We must pray. We, our prayer life is going on. Now, you, you don't come for prayer meeting. Appetite has changed. Appetite. Has changed. Now, your appetite is to worldly things. I'm watching a movie. I'm with this friend. I'm with this business partner. I'm with that one. Your appetite have changed. Mary, you have chosen the right thing. Matter can't take it from you. Serving God and being at the feet. Jesus said, the one who sits at my feet is more valuable the one than the one who serves. Why? Service to God will promote you. Listen to me. Sitting on the feet doesn't promote you. That promotion is yours. He said, my son, you have always been with me, so all that I have is thine. Now, it's easy. It's easy for you to first thing to think that, ah, Master, things are bad. Let me take phone. Oh, man. Oh, man, a thousand dollars being found, ten, eh? Some of that. Thing. You can't call home. Recently, one of my estranged daughters who is trying to come back called me. She was suffering. I said, I'm busy. So I paid the, I said, please, I'm very busy. She said, please, my head, I'm dying. I said, put your head on your forehead and tap it. One, two, three. I said, are you done? I said, check it. Said, ah, it's gone. I said, can I go back? I said, ah, that symbol, I've been struggling with this thing for two hours. I said, can I go back to my meeting? I want to control my meeting. Then after that, she called me and said, ah, you've forgotten FDA. These things are no trouble for me. I said, when you are in strange, you even forget what God can do. You forget the power of prayer and fasting. You forget the power of worship. You forget the things that can easily first when you are in trouble. You know, this one I'm going to do three days fasting and come back. And you go and do three days fasting. When you come back, everything is all now. Everything is arithmetic and mathematics and statistics. Oh, I think I'm not here at all. But then you were in the spirit too. The song we were singing, we were singing it in the office. They thought I sent it to you. That was when I was listening. When the music fades. Uh, now, your desire has changed. You are four people. You are telling yourself, the 31st night, in the dead, when you are crank a bed. Because 31st is Saturday, Sunday, 31st, 
You. In your fault. Appetite have changed. Now you have slim girl, fat girl, short girl, tall girl. Your appetite have changed. First, all you asked God for was cocoa. Now, anything goes. Appetite has changed. First, you used to tell God, Give, give me Jesus, take the whole world and give me Jesus. Take the whole world and give me Jesus. And I said, Jesus, can you hold on? Hold on. Wait a minute. Born in the 90s. Girl, now you are telling God that God, I was born in the 90s. I, I feel a falling far from your love. But still I hear you calling me. Those simple things that I was new. The memories are drawing me. I must confess, Lord, I've been blessed. Yet my soul is not satisfied. Renew my faith, restore my joy, and turn my weep to lie. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you. I think I'm preaching to somebody here. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, where I first believed. Are you forgotten? The devil is smart, oh. And the guy was desiring. Because what have you been desiring lately? Your desire has changed. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. This is my desire. Come into it. This is my Desire. This is the desire I had to honor you and Lord with all my heart, not so my heart. I worship you. And all I have within Come on, lift it to him. I give you praise And all that I adore And all that I adore Is in you, nice insistence In cry, Metiasia, Meti me ma. Now it has changed. I live for my children. I learned. I keep going. I learned this lesson. That give it to God, and God will protect you. Set 
meeting with God and God will settle you. Connect to God and God will connect to you. I learned it. Seek ye first the kingdom and all the things that you need will be handed. Now we seek things and live the kingdom and live his righteousness and still have the audacity to tell him that God, why don't you do this for me? Take your seat. Look at what is your desire now? I didn't hear you. What is your desire now? What did the person say? Desire food of peace. But the Bible said, he sat down and came to his senses. Does he come to your senses? You know why he came to his senses? Because anybody who covers you, though you can go away, prayer can never distance you from the person you are covering. His father kept praying. Let this one come home. And so they put there, why don't you tell them to come? You can't tell them. Let me tell you something about people who move far away. You can never bring them. Jesus said, no one can come to me on the father brings them. And when I be lifted, I will draw all men to me. So the one who is covering the backslider needs to go to God and say, God, you You gave me this person. You know, you know the problem with us sometimes? You call the person and tell them, Hey, these days you are becoming. And maybe that will be the end. The person will come back to you again. So when the person is distancing, prayer, session, standing the gap, praying God. Speak to my child. Speak to my daughter. That's why you're preaching. Now you can't preach against certain things again because you are doing it. You can't confront a human being because every human being who is weighing off has a spirit worrying them. John 12, 40, don't go there. He said, he has blinded their eyes. Close their ears. Sear their heart. Lest they understand and be converted and I heal them. So the problem is when even you are talking to them, you are too far. If in being close like this, you are far. Because they've gone too far away from you. That your word is now noise. I was there one day. He said, I want to go back to my father. I want to go home. My desire is wrong. Servants in my father's house don't even desire food of pigs. In, in my father's house, when they cook, me, my mom's house, if you count my mom's house, we used to have a lot of house helps. There's no plate for children and house help. There is no one egg for Francis and half egg for maid. Pastor David, you've stayed with us. Pastor Victor, mommy, everybody can go for any plate. The only person who is best is the one who is last. 
Because my mom will tell you that the last person coming home might come with a visitor. So leave the best food. So if you want the best, the shishi of the jollof, you make sure that you come for your food last. Because everybody will leave the best for the last. So that guy sat down and said, no. The funny thing is that you know you are going wayward. But you humble yourself and said, man of God, my covering, I need, I need help me. How is, how is everything? Man of God, you know, the Lord is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Jackals will not save you. Don't wait until you become a pig. Because pigs, when they come find food to eat, they will eat you. So this guy gets up and says, I'm going back to my father. Jonah chapter 2 says, They that cling to worthless idols forsake the grace that could be theirs. Let me tell you this. Many people have clung to certain things that worthless idols. And because of that certain grace, let me tell you, God knows you can backslide. Who? God knows that you have the in, in look, systems fail. The dollar went to five, it's coming down to nine. It will go up again to eleven. <laughs> Let's go on. Where was I? <laughs> systems so God himself, before the foundation of the head, he knew Adam would fail him. So he prepared the lamp before the foundation. There is no thing you are going through that he has not made provision for. But will you be humble enough to tell God that I can't do it? Don't pretend, especially those of us who hold the microphone. Praise the Lord. God is good. I feel in my spirit. You don't feel anything. But I die off, no? You don't feel anything. And the Lord, which Lord? No Lord has spoken to you in your mind. For those who regard worthless idols forsake their own mercy. I'll continue. Let's try. Let me try. Let's try. Let me try. And I don't like to do 15. I'll bull on here. Before we go to 20, humble yourself. Let us all know we are suffering. So that all of us can come on board and help make the nation better. But don't let us feel like everything is okay. When things are not okay, systems are breaking left, right, center. Can't you see? Let me hurry up. can't even pay a salary. Your tide is dropping. And you can't sit up and tell yourself that there's something wrong. Recently I was in my office. My, my staff would tell you I needed money. All of a sudden somebody sent a message. Monday. I don't meet people on Monday. Are you in the office? I said yes. I want to see you. I said, I don't see you on Monday. I said, man of God, I must see you. It's important. It's okay, come. When the guy came, you saw fresh nosey. Pa, 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 ya arrange. I said, ah, God, according to, I didn't even pray. I said, you have a small den. You have a small den. You have a Of course, when you sit at his feet, all things are yours. Are you sure you've gone home? Are you sure? Look at something. When the last time you sat at the feet of Jesus, I know most people have decided Thanksgiving there. They are saying you be a bed, you be worship. May the worship be there, mean people. Oh, but down, um, be worship. Open there.
What class is Chaluto? Chaluto be buawa super bet in kawadu echi. Permi, 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 permi. Who can open the Cameroon film? Who is Hindi? Oh, amen. Because I will not forsake my own mercy. Because I will not forsake my own mercy. Look at I will not forsake my own mercy. Look at I will not forsake my own mercy. Now there's something we call the voice of our conscience. The voice of your conscience might make you fear the God of your mercy. It is over. You are down to nothing. This one, God can remedy you again. You have failed. No, you have not failed. A car that nobody can fix. If you take it to the manufacturer, they replace and it comes back on the road. The manufacturer is the best repairer. Not the roadside mechanic. When things don't work, we take it back to the manufacturer. I have a phone. When my phone stops working well, no one of the best things. I go back to sometimes they will tell you you download that this, you download that this. One day my phone, I'm sorry, I, it has become black and white. I bought colored phone, it's black and white. I've done everything to work. I said, I know what you did. They said I might have downloaded or updated accepting software. I just advise myself. Default setting. I reset the phone. Pa. I went back to the original. It updated me to the current and my phone became normal again. Now, I lost some things. I lost some files. But I am, my phone is back on track because I, those things I lost are not as valuable than the things I've gained back because I could have lost all. God is waiting for you. So the guy got up one day, look at the pics, look at everybody around, say, I'm going back home. Talking about coverings. And the Bible said, when it was a distance of, some say distance of, there is something called proximity. Some say proximity. Say frequency. I can't hear. Say frequency. Say frequency. Now, many people have lost the frequency. They can't hear again. When you are traveling from here to Cape Coast, Takrade, and you are on some of these radio stations, as you get to Takrade, the same station, the same 88.7, but as you go, the frequency is the same, but a new station is playing. Please, you stop hearing from God. You are hearing somebody. It's about frequency. I have a system in my car that I play Bluetooth on my phone. As soon as I remove it, a station is playing. As long as it's connected, I only hear from my phone. When it is disconnected, a station plays. You know what is happening to you? Your disconnection has made you think you are hearing from God. But the truth is that you are hearing from something that is called a familiar spirit. this boy said, I go to my father, if I perish, I perish. If they rebuke me, they should rebuke me. If they insult me, they should insult me. The most important thing is that I can continue like this. This is where pride, who is the master troublemaker of every believer, crashes. Every divorce is pride. Every rebellion is pride. Every separation is pride. The boy leaving the father was pride. The father said, I've been standing here since the day you left waiting for you. 
Why didn't he go for them? Frequency. Some say frequency. As when, as soon as he fell within the frequency, the father now said, "Come in." There's a frequency. The Lord told me some. I used to preach. When I'm preaching, if some people are not around, I don't feel comfortable. Currently, it doesn't make sense to me again. If they are there, fake, they are not there. Fake. I go, what is that? He said, the out of frequency. Because why? Read Exodus 17. God told Moses, tell the children of Israel that I'll block the name of the Amalekites from there and make sure Joshua hears it. Why Joshua hearing it? It doesn't matter if all the six million people they hear it and Joshua does because God knew that if nobody will make it, Joshua will make it. Some people, God knows that you will definitely be a Melonia. God knows that you will be a Belonia. God knows that he will take you to places. And because of that, he insists that every information you must hear. It should be the one to be pretty. We should always be in church. Yes, you must be there, Joshua. Because the next level is hanging on you. <laughs> Listen, I had to call some people. I want to see, I want to see. You know why? Because there, there comes a time where you are praying for people and you can't see them. When you are a pastor, you are looking for people and say, Ah, this sister, this sister, this sister, ah, this sister, this brother, ah, ah. Then you call another pastor. Sister, now, nah, first, now, nah, now, nah, now, nah, if it's so we lead you. Uh -huh, okay. Because Paul said in Philippians 1 7, you are, you are partakers of my grace because I have you in my mind. Coffin is more mental than physical. I have you in this brain. So when you are looking for the person, I was praying for someone gave me a prayer topic. I was praying, I was praying, I was praying, I was praying. When it gets to that, the Lord said, mention this person's name three times. Her. The name had vanished. This person is close. The name had vanished. I had to go through my phone and then go for search and write the topic that the person told me to pray on before the person's name came. By the time a person's name came, the frequency I was in at the level of prayer, I had dropped. Oh, you are not here at all. Uh, uh, should I continue? My, my deeper, my deeper. Can you imagine they are going to pay workers and they forget you? It means you're not be coming to work. <laughs> you, you're going to pay workers, so they pay everybody and they forget you. Frequency, you, know, you are too far away. And the funny thing is that when you are safe, you are close to a frequency and you are not there. <laughs> No tongues, you hear nothing. When he came to that proximity, he said, Open the gate, open the gate, open the door. This son was dead. Wait, but he's alive. Wait, distance brings death. This son was dead and is alive again. Distance brings death. Some people can vanish one year. Thirty first in a half year, maybe so. Yabo, Shira, yeah. I think God is a joker. He was dead. He was non-existent. He was lost. Dead. So the father, when he got closer, 
And let me tell you this. Can I, can I come down to your level? Let me tell you something very funny. People misbehave. Eh? And when they are returning home, they don't return with a certain mindset. They still return with arrogance. The, the guy was coming and said, I used to be a son, but I'm going to him as a servant. This time, I'm going to tell him. First, I used to ask him to give to me. Now, I don't want him to give to me. I want him to make me. You, you've backslided, fallen off. The first time, let's say you meet a man of God, you'll be away. Please, God bless you, man of God. Please, can you help me? Yeah, what is it? Can I have transport home? Are you correct? Did you come here because of your need? When I get back to God, I don't go with any problem again. I go to him, my Lord, you are all I want. You are all I ever needed. Why? As long as I'm sitting at his feet, all that he has is mine. And next week, I'll deal with that area. How to activate what is yours under this system. Can I go move on? He said, open the door for him. He came and knelt down, tattered robes, lost identity, and told the father that, listen, make me as one of your own. Wait, make me as one of your own. In other words, all along, when he was with his father, he was not of his father. He was his own. He just needed an opportunity to be on his own. And he went on his own. Make me as one of your servants. Make me as one. So the father looked at him and said, these are the processes. Number one, come. When the son came, the first thing the son, the father did to the son was to hug him. Some say love. I didn't hear you. True covering comes from the system called love. You can't cover anybody that you don't love. That is why when you are covering people, they do things to hurt you, to, to determine whether you truly love or it is just word of mouth. True love in marriage is shown. Please listen to me. The two of you, let me use you. You are the married couple's closest to me. When you married, you say, I do. In sickness and in health, I do. I do. True of us. Yeah. When you went home and you marry and give birth, that's when character show. Then God said, prove to me that in sickness and in health, if it is true or it's not true. Then you wonder, why God did I marry this person? Welcome to the real world. The proof of love. And God will tell you, my son, love her like Christ loved the church. Say, ah, me. Like Christ loved me. Yes, you too. You've been misbehaving towards God. You too. You've been sinning towards God. And you go to God and say, God, forgive me. And he says the same thing. Do so for your wife. Not heeding to that instruction means you are not sitting at his feet. Please take your seat. So, covering the first step is love. He kissed him. I don't say go for your spiritual father to kiss your lip. Ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Some say ran. Number two, it comes with compassion. Compassion. There's a heart. There's a passion towards it. Desire. True sons, true daughters, desire fellowship. Desire to spend time with their father.
They never have enough. I buy a child a toy and he's playing with a toy and forgets that I exist. Next time I will buy the toy, I will hide it. Play with me. When you finish playing with me, I'll give you your toy. Many of you, your miracle is still with God, waiting for you to come and play under his feet. Then he can release it. Because the last time he gave you the bread, you left him and you went to show all your friends, my father has given me bread. Do you have a father that gives you bread? But you never worshipped at the father's feet. So this time, your miracle is with him. Humble yourself and serve him and you release it. This is prophetic. The next one, he said, bring me the best rope. Some say the best rope. Some say rope. Yeah. Every covering comes with a rope. A dress code. Human behavior. He said, I can't let you wear this kind of dress. Now hear me, John 18. When you are young, you go where you want to go. You dress the way you want to dress. But when you mature, somebody will tell you where to go and what to wear. Let me tell you this. If somebody is covering you and can determine what you wear, the person is not covering you. But listen, in the spiritual realm, what you wear determines how you are protected. Let me give you a biblical example for those of you who have been theologically funny. The, people say they go to church and they say put on scarf. If you put on scarf, I have an issue with you. But the Bible didn't say hair. Read your Bible. It said the head of the woman. It didn't say hair of the woman. The head of the woman is the man. And the head of the man is Christ. Heads makes decision. So woman, husband makes decision. Husband, God must make decision. If a husband and God doesn't make decisions for you, your wife will not listen to you. <laughs> Let's read the Bible. Let's not cast it. It said the head. So who determines the hairstyle of a wife? The man, not the woman. Star away, yeah, fair. Forget it. It's the man who tells you that this star, if you put it on, I like. Don't do the hand. Come and say, say, so you won't say anything about it. What should I say about what I didn't prescribe? You won't talk about this dress. No, it's not what you are wearing. You like it, but do I like it? I must like what you are wearing. Are you here with me? I, I, I have a daughter, Rukaya. Where is she? Before she married, I was called. Sometimes she dressed and said, ah, What are you wearing? He said, My husband. I said, Oh. Gosh, she, when she got married, I don't have duty on her dress code again. No, 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 no. no. I said, My husband. I said, oh. When I met her husband, he was wearing some. He also was wearing hot shorts. I said, mm, Husband and wife. <laughs> I leave you alone. <laughs> Please, are you here with me? Please, are you here with me? So, your head. Oh, give me the John 18. He said, he said, when you are young, you go where you want to go. You dress the way you want to dress. But when you mature, somebody will take your hands and take you where you don't want to go. And dress you the way you don't want to dress. Is it John 18 or John 2018? I think John 2018. Forgive me. I found it in PA. Scriptures in the door. Sanity. Because can I dress you? I didn't hear you. Esther, Hagar must dress you so that the king can marry you. Oh, high priest, Satan is rebuking you. Satan is fighting you because even though you are high priest, the dress you are wearing, you are not supposed to wear. I must change the dress you are wearing, Joshua the high priest, so that, um, Zechariah chapter 3, so that what? You can be able to withstand the attack you are fighting. So let's read the John 21, 18. Most assuredly what? I said to you, when you were younger, you gathered yourself, walked where you wished, and there, Mekokrum, 
Ça. That is for young people. And walk where you wish. But when you are old, you will what? So the word gathered is dress. When you are younger, you gather yourself and walk where you wish. But when you are old, you will stretch out. You do what? Look at the younger son. He stretched out to the father. You will stretch out. What? Your hands and another will get you and carry you where you do not wish. Can I have NIV, please? Because the get people don't get it. Let's read. Go. I tell you the truth. When you were younger, you dressed yourself each morning and went where you wanted. And when you, but when you are old, you will stretch out your hand. Someone else will what? And what? Lead you to where? Because most often, people naturally gravitate towards what is not good for them. My Eden power. Look at who is dressing you. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. My wife, I told her, so my wife gets up. He said, Sweetheart, I'm going to Togo. I said, Okay, you can go. Then she told me, Tomorrow, after a week, she told me, Tomorrow, I'm going. I said, Yes, you can go. After five minutes, I said, You are not going anywhere. Get to prayer. I said, Yes, sir finish. We've not spoken about it again. We've not talked about it again. Did you see any vision? Did you see any television? Did God tell you anything? Till date, we've not spoken. It is final. Someone said, me and my wife will not listen to me. The question is, do you listen to God? Because if you don't listen, they will not listen. It's a system. And ladies, can I tell you this? Don't let any man tell you that the pastor said, listen to a man. It is not in the Bible. He said, wife, submit to your own husband. Nobody can control you if they are not married to you. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the one dating you. So you forget, you are not married to the person. Until you are married, the one that controls the person is the father. I'm not preaching well here. The Bible said women submit. There's no way in the Bible that women submit. He said wives. And he said to your own husband, not to somebody's husband. Uh, you are a woman. You don't respect me. I'm the one going to marry you. Hold on. Find out if this woman or this man listen to their father or their mother. Then you can know that they are submissive. But if they are not listening to their father and their mother and you are going to marry them, welcome to World War II. Papa said, I'm in here. I'm in go. My mother said, Yempie, Yempie, Yempie. Oh, my friend says, Yeah, Yempie, Yempie. And you are going to marry this person. When the father said, Don't go, he's going. When they marry you, you will see Bobo, Le Bobo. I'm not preaching well, right? Look, if you are dating anybody, let me tell you this. Anytime you want to see an abuser, 
Eh? Let me teach you off it. Anything when you see an abuse, an abuser always takes you away. Far away from people that help you to get to where you are. So that when you are alone with them, whatever they do to you, you cannot go anywhere to talk. Can I give you a dress? Look at somebody, look at somebody the first thing is a dress code. And that's, I, I was talking to you about the, the armory of God, the cloth of righteousness. Let me tell you, any time you obey instruction, you stay under covering. Disobedience to instruction moves you away from grace. Because I gave you the scripture from Psalm 119, right? 105 said, your words instruct me and they are a light to my path. They give me direction. Hey, am I teaching here? The next thing he did was to give him a ring. A ring is a reenactment of a covenant. We marry with rings. To exchange rings means that anywhere you go, in those days, they didn't use signature. They didn't have signature. So when the kings wanted to sign their signature, they have their ring. They put the ring in ink and they use it to stamp. So the ring is, where is your authority coming from? This thing you are about to do, who asks you to do it? Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. You, who is your father? Elijah, Elisha, and no, Ahab. We are going to war. Jehoshaphat, we are going to fight. The prophet said we will win. He said, I'm a man of God. Ahab, who are sliding? Jehoshaphat, I still sit under the feet of God. Is there no prophet? Oh, all the, he said, no. All the prophet has spoken. But I sense that these people, they are not speaking. Is there no prophet? He said, there is one. His name is Elisha. Tell me something about Elisha before I can bring him. He said, he is the one that used to pour water on the hands of Elijah. Said, bring him. Your father gives you identity. You know you can't clap. Okay, okay. Because of your argument in your head, let me do this very fast. 11, 12, first Kings 11, 12. Solomon became a, a fetish priest. What did I say? I say what? Solomon, behold. The Bible said in from verse 1, don't go there. It said, Solomon loves strange women. Those of you who came from a Bacenta tree, I was talking about it. Solomon loves strange women. The people God said, don't marry. They are the people Solomon married them. And when he was old, they turned his heart after their God. And he built temples for them. And God normally would come and kill Solomon and finish him. But God came to Solomon and said, Solomon, your offering can't save you. You give too much offering. I gave you wisdom for your offering, but I'll kill you. But I'm not going to kill you because nevertheless, I will not do this in your days for the sake of your father, David. Solomon's child the kingdom got divided because his father did not lay any foundation to help the son. Some of the things you do for God today, your sons and your daughters will be exempted from trouble one day. Thank you. Not, because, not because Solomon was perfect. This guy is a fetish priest. A man of Daninaji, he was proud. To have 700 girlfriends and 300 wives. Look, he built a temple for God and built thousand fetish houses. Total work done zero. Who did so sleep and only be that? 
Total work done zero. Total work done zero. I'm not preaching here at all. Not it. I'm going to punish you, Solomon. But there is something about your father. I can't do it to you. Your father is dead. Oh. But it will grieve your father in the grave. If I punish you. But you, you didn't lay any foundation. Total work done, Solomon, is zero. So he, the child became king and Jeroboam is Jeroboam. Jeroboam and Jeroboam. Jeroboam and Jeroboam. The kingdom gets divided. You know why people are facing division here, trouble here, trouble there, trouble there. There is no father with a grace to tell God that God, you can't do this to this person because of me. Look at him, he need a ring. The next thing he gave the boy was that he gave him shoes. Shoes simply means direction. Years ago, I was doing some Levi class and I brought a message by Juanita Bynum, the prodigal daughter. How many of you remember the prodigal daughter? In that message, Juanita Bynum rebelled against Bishop T.D. Jakes. And when she came back to reconcile, she pleaded with Bishop T.D. Jakes and removed her shoes on stage. Go, and look, go to YouTube and look for the message, prodigal daughter. It will appear. One it by now. And he said, Bishop, this is my shoe. Because in the Hebrew land, traditionally, if you give your shoe to your father, what it means is that wherever I go, I represent you. I can never speak evil of you. I can, because when you hold a shoe, father, and you speak, I also be attacked. You know, when I watch the video, some of my daughters and my sons said they will bring their shoe to my office. They are yet to bring the shoe. It's been seven, eight years. Nobody's bold enough to bring the shoe to my office. So the man said, you are barefooted. You are instability. Your life is up and down. Wear this shoe. And when he finished giving him the shoe, so let me tell you, cloth is a covering. Love is a covering. Are you with me? Compassion is a covering. Are you with me? The ring is a covering. Am I talking to somebody here at all? Or are, are, is it true? The shoe is a covering. The next one. He said to the servant, bring the fatted calf. You know what is a fatted calf? All along that a guy backslided. The father had been telling the house boys, house girl, feed this cow very well. Feed this cow very well. Feed this cow very well. What was he waiting for? The day the son came, he said, this one that you kept special, this is the one we are going to use for festivity and activity. Because this my son was dead, his back. Let me tell you this. Why will he kill a cow? True covering, true fathers invest in their children. They don't take from them. All this, well, the son has given the father nothing. These days, people need unique covering. Mamisika, every month, bring this money. You need that. True covering comes from the heart. Passion. Desire to see the person become better than who they are. Because if, if, the people you raise become better than who they are. There's no way they will watch you go hungry. They will also take care of you. Aquala, parents take care of children for their teeth to grow so that they too will take care of their parents for their teeth to remove. (laughs) 
Most parents that are chewing goat now, in 40 years now, they will drink cocoa and milk. And they also behave like babies. I told the story. I took my mother for shopping. Huh. She bought about 40 bags. Red, yellow, green, black, indigo, purple, this thing. She bought plate. And my brothers would come and say, leave her. She bought back some. And I remember when I was a child, when my mom goes to abroad and can't, what do you want? I say, football. <laughs> How many of you have been there before? What do you want? Toffee. What do you want? Biscuit. Today, too, she's old. She bought bags. I said, Mommy, what is for? He said, When I wear yellow shoe, yellow bag. So she has calculated all the, bag, all the shoes. All the bags. Meanwhile, she doesn't go anywhere. The bags are still lying now. But she's now like a little girl. And I don't fight it. Because me too, when I was a child, how many of you remember when you were a child? What do you ask for? I know you are shy. I told more. They ask you, we are going to town. What do you want? You want Baloo. Baloo. For Christmas, what do you want? You want Christmas hat. Today, if anybody makes a mistake and asks you what you want for Christmas, the person will regret. Being at this, we ask for Fanta. Fanta. And when you are drinking Fanta, it's not in a bottle. It's in a, bottle, it's in a plastic cup. You go around to the whole area, making everybody see that you are drinking Fanta. Is it true? It's not true. You use biscuits to do chain. Today, we need beer. Ask somebody, what do you want for Christmas? May God answer you when you tell the person. I said, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, maybe God will tell somebody to give it to you. I said, what do you want for Christmas? I will ask you. you are... <laughs> somebody said, I need visa. Please, this visa, visa to America to Christmas gift. Somebody said, I need visa. How? Come on, give the Lord a mighty clap off. A true, a true coverer doesn't mind taking his life investment, the fatted calf, and giving it back to the son to keep him going. May God clothe you in this new season. May God give you a new ring in this season. May God give you a brand new shoe in this season. May God show you his love in this new season. May God's compassion towards you never fail. May God kill the fattest calf. The greatest sacrifice can ever give. And may he grant it unto you. Even as you enter into a new phase of taking new territories. In Jesus mighty name. Come on give the Lord a mighty clap of him here. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. And begin to pray to God right now. Talk, talk to God our God. Clothe me. <laughs> the more I seek you. The more I find you. find you the more I love you I want to sit at your feet drink from the cup in your hands lay back against you and breathe feel your heart this love is so deep It's more than I can stand I melt in your peace It's 
So deep. This love is so deep. It's more than I can stand. I am melting your peace. Now lift your voice and tell God, God, I want to come home. I want the covering. I want to be able to sit at your feet. Lay back against you and breathe. I want to feel your heartbeat. You are not, when you are close to God, you don't hear his words. You feel his heartbeat. You feel his heartbeat. Strangers hear his voice. When you are so close, God, what is ailing you? What is eating you up? What is bothering you? Oh, I wanna lay back. Oh, I feel your heart. This love is so deep. It's more than I can stand. I'm melting your peace. Lift up your two hands. Say, Lord Jesus. I want to receive your love. Dress me. Direct me. Say, Lord Jesus, clothe me with your righteousness. Take away my filthy garments. Cover me with your mercy. Anything I'm clinging on, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness things from my past that I'm clinging on the investments you have given me that I'm clinging on they are nothing compared to you I am back at your feet because I love you I know you love me I want to feel your heartbeat what do you want to do Say, Father God, I want to feel your heartbeat. What do you want to do? What do you want to tell me? I'm not afraid to hear you. I'm not afraid to be hurt with what you will tell me. I just want to feel your heartbeat. Lift your voice and talk to him quietly. Mm, like oil upon my feet. Like wine for you to drink Like water for my heart I pour my love on you Praise is like perfume I love is mine on you To every drop is come Upon my love I just don't know how let's go talk to him quietly I don't know how to say exactly how I feel and let me hear you Sing, Lord, for where is there a way? Is there a way to show this passion in my heart? Can I express how truly great I feel you are? My dear, you rest from this is my desire. 
This is my desire to pour my love on you. To pour my love on you like oil upon your feet, like wine for you to drink, like water from my heart. I pour my love on you. If grace is like that, you I lavish mine on you till every drop is gone. Come on out! I pour my love like oil upon your feet, like wine for you to drink. Like water from my heart, I pour my love. I pour my love on you. If praise, if praise is like perfume, our love is mine. Our love is mine on you. Till every drop is gone, I pour my love. I pour my love like oil upon your feet. Like wine for you to like drink. Wine for you to drink. Like water from my heart. Like water from my heart. I pour my love on you. I pour my love on you. It prays. It prays a slide with you. Our love is mine on you. Our love is mine on you. Till every drop is gone. I pour my love. Makuma in a bed. The war Maybe you are lost. Tell him. I don't know what to do again. Allow some of my heart to love other things.
Drop your hands. I want you to lift your voice and love God. I want you to lift your voice and love God back. You see, until you love him completely, he cannot direct you completely. Angels and singing hallelujah. 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 Healing is taking place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying, There are some who want to run to the altar. You say, Man of God, I want to come back to God again. I want to come to His feet again. If you are one of these, just come to the altar. Hallelujah. You say, Man of God, I lost my first love. I lost my first commitment. I lost it. I'm no more the firebrand that I used to have. John the Baptist was a firebrand. Hallelujah. This is an advantage. Come down for me a bit. I hear the Lord saying that there are sons, there are daughters who are saying, Man of God, I want to run back to you. I don't want an altar call. I just want to return back to the place of prayer. I just want to come back to the place of doing things for God. I just want to return to the place where my heart is just committed to God. If we are one of them, just run here. 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 Now, now things are blocking you. Things are stopping you. Just come to God. Just, I'm not saying you are giving your life to Jesus. You are saying, I just want God back. I just want God back. You can't walk. You must rush here. God is waiting for you. He's 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 waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting for you. He's waiting. Now you can't pray. You can't fast. Church is appalling and boring. You can watch football. Watch extra time, watch penalties, and you still want to watch more. But when it comes to God, they are wasting my time. Come to God. Come. Come to God. Come to God. Come to God. You used to do better things for God before you came to preach. You used to be so committed to the things of God. But now you don't care. You don't wonder. It doesn't matter. Somebody else would do it. Somebody else can do it. Ooh. Hallelujah. Ooh, do, do. Watch me. 
Don't play the tie without the kick. Step forward. You can pray. You can pray. You can pray. You can talk to God. John was a burning torch. He was a burning fire. A man who is burning will set everybody ablaze on fire. Jesus can testify by John the Baptist. He was a burning light. You are light by you burning. You are light by you burning. You are a light. You are a light by you burning. Is there a flame in your torch? Is there a flame in your torch? Is there a fire in your torch? Look at the bus in the middle of 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 on fire I want to lay hands on somebody I want to lay hands on somebody your fire must come back again first when you even sin you feel that you have sinned now it is there as usual it is normal it is a usual day it's a usual time oh I'll go to God and ask for forgiveness I'll go to God and ask for forgiveness you are running out of fear. Hallelujah. 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 You get never sit at the back of the middle, the middle, the middle, the middle. You hear lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, the fire will capture you. The fire will capture you. Lift up your hands. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Position confuse you. Don't let your bigality be cut through you. Yes, flow. Don't I stop it? Has to say. Now systems has become your God. Money has become your God. Your lover has become your God. Your breakthrough has become your God. But I want to 
listen to him again. I'm listening, Lord. Speak, speak, Lord, speak, Lord, speak, Lord, speak, Lord, speak, Lord. You speak to us. Ah. This was set me on fire. It was like fire in my bones. The political sun was about to give the food of fix. And the fire began to burn. The fire began to burn. The fire began to burn. It's like fire. He said, I don't want to call his name again. I don't want to go to church again. But you are here. Hey, 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 
Take me there. Take me there. Take me there. Take me to salvation line. Take me to water baptism line. Take me to my foundation. Take me to the place that I can stand on my feet. Hours on end. And God, you will ever take me. Take me back to Lord where I first believe. I'm a I'm a How you love me. I'm a I'm a How you care. Through your precious blood. No one knew how alone I was feeling, and the emptiness I tried so hard, and the emptiness I tried so hard to hide. Though I laughed and made everybody feel that my life is not there without you, my life was fine without you. I I was was covering up. up. The secret the is secret dress I cried. Cried. Then one day, then one day, someone told me I of your mercy, your mercy, and the blood, and the blood you show on the hill called Calvary. There you died. There you died. And purchase my, my redemption. redemption. You brought this power. When you brought this power, and set, set my spirit, spirit free. free. When I failed you That is very true Lord you know the many times The many times I've gone astray astray. But I've led Your love is stronger Than my weakness Bring her back to me And you hear it so Every time I pray Tell me no one else No one else for me. Cared for me like you, Lord. I, the friends, can never be as close to me. I'm not afraid to face the problems of tomorrow. Why? No, with you, no, with you, I everything I ever need. When my sea, my sea, where I was, I was till I was washed away. Oh, my sea, I was away. Take me 
to that place to that secret place you where you can make me like you. you wrap me wrap me in your arms wrap me in your arms wrap me in your arms take me there take me take me take me to the place to that secret place to the secret place where Let me walk on the water. Jesus, let me walk upon the water. I just wanna, I just wanna trust you. Take my hand, take my hand, Lord. take my hand. Let me walk upon the water. Sing along. Can I pray for you? This one, Lord. Take my hand. Use him mightily. Take my hand. Let me walk. Let me walk. It's fine this evening. Come and stand here for me. All those who be holding mic, come and stand here for me. Listen to me. It's high time we don't only have people who are having touch light. The touch light must work. John the Baptist said he was a what? A burning fire. It's not every fire that burns. Oh. Some fire are like laser. They use laser to cure cancer. Laser. That fire. There is red. There is yellow. There is blue. And there is white. Fear the white fire. 
The red one here is small, small. The one you palm at is. Can I have the scripture? It says what? John the Baptist was what? A burning fire. How can witches play around your compound? Let me tell you something funny. There are some funny birds that used to come to my house. Come and stand there. And when I get there, I bind them and use the go. Then one day, the Holy Ghost said, go home in the afternoon. When I went, they were there in the afternoon. They are wise. They've come in the night. They stop night. They come in the afternoon. Ah, yes, I go home early. I dealt with the afternoon. When I got home, this time they don't hang on the normal tree they hang. They were the backside. So Holy Ghost said, go to the backside. They were there. Master, this devil we, we are dealing with her. Nenya bridge her wo. Into wo udiagra obedi wagro. So know what I did? I shook every area in the house on fire. So yesterday when I got home, I had some people were there. You didn't see me. When you didn't see me, when I entered home straight away, I never got out till this morning when I went to the prayer room. I never got out till this morning. So when it's this morning when I came out my office staff, then I slept small. Because the Lord is telling me that the enemy is playing buffoon. Snakes are playing around with destinies. Because the fire of people doesn't burn. He was a burning and a shining lamp. Are you ready to pray? We will leave very soon. Don't worry. Say, Lord, I want to burn. Now give me Jeremiah 20, where Jeremiah said, His word was like fire in my bones. His word. You know why they say you will succeed? The week they say you are going to break through, that's when you backslide. Because the word didn't become like fire in your bones. Yeah. It doesn't burn. Oh, amen. Man of God, it's like for the past one month, the building, nothing is going on. The Lord said, Don't take money. I was telling something, but don't not knowing, and now I understand God. If I had gone, the dollar would have affected the things we bought. Now that the dollar is gone, then we can buy. So you remember that I said we are going to do washroom. Things were 15, 15 cities to the dollar. This is the time to buy. Sometimes when God is quiet, don't run. Maybe the dollar can go to where it wants to go. Oh, amen. For those of them, see this. Whenever you begin to feel that whatever you have is yours, that is the day you are estranged from your covering. No something just custodians. So when God comes and say, Prophet, release your car. Release it. You know why? You believe he gave it to you. Mm. But when you think you work hard for it, mm. that's when you don't release it. Mm. 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 So you know what God will do to you? Work hard for the next one. Mm. Ah, I was praying to God about something. God said, let them be. Let them go. Let them be. But being an intercessor, this is done. I was praying. And this message dawned on me. He said, The prodigal son came to his senses because they closed their ears. I promise you people, I'll get, I took the choristers, your microphone, Kaya and Ko, and I gave you the choir. And I told you by the end of the year, I will get it. As of that time, I was buying the microphone for them. Because I gave my word, it was at 
15 Ghana cities per dollar. I ordered it from US. They are holding it. The Lord said, it is not your money. Buy it. You are quiet. Let me tell you this. Understand what born Unimjumoto. Understand you can't move a person. You can't move a heart. It is God to move a heart. The horse is ready for battle, but safety belongs to God. Everybody can sing, singing and song, but not everybody can bend a person because if you don't have fire, you can't give me some. And nobody gives fire and loses fire. You give fire so that the day your fire goes out, you can go to the one you gave fire to to fire your lamp also. So nobody has fire and keeps it to themselves. Keeping fire to yourself is at the detriment of your own life. It's like a rich man who wants to be the only rich person in his neighborhood. Arm robbers will finish you. Make all the arm robbers rich. They'll become business partners. Lift up your hands and pray to God. Say, Lord, I want every word you have given to me to be like fire in my bones. We are closing. When we walk with the Lord, where does the light come? In the light. Of his word. That's where the light comes from. There's somebody with a kidney problem. You are being healed now. That sharp pain at the right side of your body vanishes now. In Jesus' mighty name. When we walk with the Lord, wonderful. In the light of his word. Whether you like it or not. What a glory he shares on our way. Note, whilst we do his good will, he abides with us still. Abiding still is abiding in the word. And with all and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey For there is no other way To be happy in Jesus But to trust and obey When we walk When we walk with the Lord In the light of his word What a glory. What a glory he shed on our way. On our, on our path. Way. Whilst we, we do, do his good will. He abides with us still. He abides with us. And with all. And with all who will trust and obey. Let's go. Trust and no other way no other way to be happy to be happy you are sad in the lord Jesus, but to trust and obey trust and obey trust and obey for there is no for the no other way to be happy Thank you, Jesus. Even that trap set for you is nullified. You carry the glory. You carry the glory. 
You carry the glory. You carry glory. Watch it. Fresh fire over your life. Fresh fire over your destiny. Fresh fire over your destiny. Fresh fire to guide every attack and the attack against your life. I need fresh fire. 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 It's burning. It's burning. It's burning. I want to hear everybody praying, except the instrumental is playing. That. Pray for fire. John the Baptist was not just an empty torch with no Like fire. Let it be like fire in your bones. And let it be also like honey on your lips. Thank you, Jesus. You got to an encounter we have never had before in this auditorium. An encounter. Give the Lord a mighty clap offering here. Lift up your offering. Lift up your offering. Ay, 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 ay. I feel so much fire. Who wants some? Anybody wants some? Francis, come. Where are you going? Let me dash you some. Who, who else wants some? I want to dash. I want to dash. I just want to. You know why the food doesn't cook early? Your fire is too low. It's not God who is delaying. You want some? Up, please get up. up. Bring him back. I like the speed in which he came. Fresh! Bring him back. Let him drink. Let the world hear of this talent. Come, 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 come. Look here. Look into my hands. Look into my hands. Look here. Look. See to your tomorrow. See to your future. <laughs> Lift up your offering. If you want to do more, more like me, take your phone. Where is Pastor David? Take my phone and send my offering for me. Why? Send my offering for me. Yeah. Pastor David knows all my passwords. So. 
Now lift up the offering. Say, Lord Jesus, I need fresh fire. You have a word for me. I must take new territories. I can't hear you. I must take new territories. I can't take it without finances. I need fire to light my path. Give me direction when it comes to my finance. Give me direction when it comes to my promotion. Give me direction when it comes to favor. Light my path. Let your word concerning my life be like fire burning me so that I will be able to do what you have assigned for me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have your tithe, you made a pledge, please be on your feet with it. Let me pray for you. Please lift it up, please. Your word is yes and amen. Your word does not return void until it has accomplished the purpose. Prove to us once again that you are the rebuker of the evil one assigned against these precious ones. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's dance with our offering. Come on, come on. I'm the sword of the earth, say I'm the sword of the earth. I'm the sword of the earth. I carry, I carry the favor of God. I see the earth. I'm the sword, I'm the sword, I'm the sword. I'm the sword of the earth. I'm the sword, I'm the sword of the earth. I carry the favor. Of God. of God, oh, I see the I'm the light, I'm the light, I'm the light, hey. I'm the light of the world, I'm the light, I'm the light of the I shine the light, I shine the light of God, of all the earth, I'm the light, I'm the light of the world, I'm the light of the world. I shine the light, I shine the light of God, of God, of God. I'm a city, I'm a city, city, I'm a city, still on the high road, I'm the east, I'm in the world.
Listen, this evening, I'm not on your program, eh? Add me, why? Last minute. Please let's take our seat. Now this evening we are going to thank God. Hear me. This is the prophetic direction. Now I've asked everybody, write your vision for 2023. Put it in an envelope. I don't want it bare here. You don't need to put money inside. Because when we finish, we'll bend the envelope. I don't want to open the envelope and see what is inside. So don't put money inside. If you want to send money, my mobile number is there. If you send it, write it there and say that, whatever. If you also like, come and put it on the altar. Please, am I hearing somebody? Write your needs in 2023. Come and put it here on the altar. Then write also, as your sacrifice, souls that you want them to be born again in 2023 your father your mother your brother your sister your nephew your children anybody you want them to be saved in 2023 put their names so if let's say you put four prayer topics you must have more than four names and if let's say you are looking for mercedes benz that show you are looking for should be heavy duty please do you know that they are mercedes benz shows yeah, like Shatawali say, or oh, your Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Are you with me here? Good. And then, listen to me. This evening, when you are coming, come with your prayer shelf, your mantle. And when we say wave to the Lord, these are the things you are waving. Can I hear an amen? So if you don't have some, if you go to the back, you can get some to buy. And then, Whenever you are in trouble, put it around your neck to remind God that you praised Him some time ago. If you are driving, you can put it. My own pastor, who has moved my own from the front of the car? It's, it's not there. When you took it to the mechanic, I hope the mechanic has not taken it. Have some white and blue one. It's in front of my car. I fold it nicely and I put it there. They took it out and they put a book there. <laughs> are you understanding me? If you've been having bad dreams, just put it on top of your bed or under your pillow. What, anywhere you go. Please, I've prayed over it. But you coming to praise God with it becomes a banner for you. Can I hear an amen? amen? I know somebody who had a problem, growth, and put it around her waist and woke up and the growth had vanished. We don't believe things. I have a daughter here whose father had stroke. After a service, she came to beg me for my socks when to put the socks on the father in the morning the person started walking now let me tell you this those of you don't believe anything it says in the bible read your bible acts 19 handkerchiefs and apron that came out of saul's body were used open open brown one men turns amen but if you say you like the brown one let me use you for an experiment he say he likes the brown one. This is ordinary. No, come back. So you're suffering. Twenty million years. Hold it. How many of you remember when we bent coconut here? We broke coconut here. The testimonies I'm hearing. One of my daughters. They said she. They were going to make her a queen mother. All of a sudden, they changed their mind. They say she doesn't deserve it. They were going to give it to somebody. She broke the coconut. They both themselves came to beg her. Please come and take your string. You have gone to consult a shrine, and the shrine is after us. We can't stand it. And they said, Tell me about this woman. Are you beautiful? Okay, draw so far. Okay, draw so. 